Okay, Richie Valens fans, we're here at the end of our virtual tour at the final resting place of the late, great Richie Valens, who passed away at 17 years old and is referred to the day the music died with Buddy Holly and JP, the Big Bopper Richardson. We're at San Fernando Mission Cemetery. Here he is. God bless him and thank you Richie for all the wonderful music that you give to the world. All the happiness with your wonderful songs. Like that one there. We belong together. That's my little Susie framed uh, in a Turkish town. Little girl, La Bamba, Dana, come on let's go. And there you go, a couple of bars they put there over Connie. La Bamba there and then he got inspired. He got this hook line from his mom. Come on, let's go. That was his first hit in the summer of 1958. And Connie, she was always saying like a typical mother, come on, come on, let's go. And they said he ripped, whipped that song up for, uh, for, for his producer. And uh, he, needed to, he needed a few songs to record at uh, Gold Star Studios in Hollywood. And that was his first, one of his first songs that he whipped up. And like I said, he whipped it up because he, he always remembered that funny uh, line that his mom was always saying, Bob Keane was his producer. And he was the one that changed his name. His uh, original name was uh, Richard Stephen Valenzuela. But he said, hey, I'm sorry, Richie, but we're going to have to shorten your name because, man, uh, I don't think white audiences are going to accept a Hispanic or Mexican-American rock and roller, man. So he changed it to Richie Valens, and uh, well, here he is with his mother, Concepcion. She was known as Connie, and in the early 70s, as I told you before, uh, Robert Plant and Jimmy Page, they went to her house here in Pacoima, over there in Remington, and they gave, uh, they gave her uh, uh, writing credits for Boogie with Stu, which came out in Physical Graffiti. The double album that Led Zeppelin put out because it was a variation on Oh My Head. Uh, Boogie with Stu was, uh, they were also sued for uh, plagiar plagiarism from the, uh, from the uh, state or the, uh, I guess whoever, what, they said that they did that because they wanted to give Connie uh, royalties because they found out that she never got anything out of Richie. I don't know, for whatever reason, I'd have to go more and do my due diligence and that. Somebody got the money. And uh, they, they, they gave her, they said, okay, well, we're going to give you a, a writing credit on uh, Boogie with Stu. And then they, they, it blew up in their face, quote unquote, as they said, Jimmy Page said. And they ended up getting sued. And I was just a real big, big mess. But uh, here they are together forever here at San Fertano Mission Cemetery and that song that's my little Susie he loved children they said it was some about a, some little girl that had a club foot in his family and she was such a sweet little girl and he wrote that for her and this this guy he had one big heart I mean you had to be to be able to write those wonderful type of songs those those songs full of, full of emotion and pathos uh, Okay, well, he was the first, as they say, the first rock star of Mexican-American an ancestry. And uh, I hate the fact that they use the term Mexican because that, 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 uh, that signifies a, uh, a uh, nationality. And he was, never, he was never born in Mexico. He was from America. So I prefer Hispanic-American. And uh, he, uh, he opened doors. For a lot of people later on, got inspired by him. Uh, Mexican-American, Hispanic people in America were influenced by him, like Selena, Carlos Santana, Chris Montez. And uh, he, they said that he got the lyrics from La Bamba from his aunt, Ernestine, because he didn't even, he wasn't even raised speaking Spanish, so he had to learn the words by, by phonet phonetically, he had to learn them. So he didn't even, he wasn't even raised speaking uh, Spanish okay so there you go he was just a real, real regular American kid and they said he was a big fan of Gene Autry 
and Roy Rogers when he was a little kid and that's what inspired him to pick up the guitar okay well God bless you Richie wherever you're at and may you be in a better place sweet Prince <laughs>